Yeah, this is going to be super exciting watching those two women go at it. Two natural footers with uh, no more goofies left in the women's. As we see the goofy standing here, Gabriel Medina crushes the first opportunity. Sets up another beautiful vertical hack with the tail release right back up to the top again. Will fight through the third turn and just force the finish on the end section. How does he stay on that surfboard? <laughs> Unbelievable. Woo. No mistakes for Medina, no falls in three strikes in this final. 10-point ride, Akira, his rookie debut, won the Triple Crown almost accidentally when he was just shadowing Kolohe and Dino. As we get back into this one, second effort for Medina. Nice, solid opening snap, big section, goes up quickly. It was a little messy there, but he stays on his feet. Little wrapping cutback, similar looking type of wave as his opener. And he'll extend the backhand flow just on his ability to balance while in awkward positions. He could pull that one down. But he almost starts with his big peak and then has that transition wall, just like his opening 717. Connect well in the first turn and kind of had to feel his way through that second point. But there's our champion, Joe. That's right, Bugs, the champion of the Western Australia, Margaret River Pro, Gabriel Medina, turns in his best performance of the season makes the semifinals, the final for the first time, ends up being a champion, making all Goofy Foot so proud. It's been since 1990. At the CT level, since we've seen a Goofy Footer take this one out, Gabriel Medina, now world number seven. And what an effort for this man, Griffin Colapinto. That turn, the positioning he was in was reminding me of a move he did at sunset on finals day where he recovered it. Let's now hear from our champion with Kaipo. Gabe, you won it. You won the Margaret River Pro. How are you feeling right now? Uh, it feels amazing. It's a contest that I always uh, struggle to, to win, and uh, I was really focused on that one. Uh, feels amazing to win here. It's a challenge wave, and uh, I'm just ha just happy to surf, you know? Like, I, I've been struggling a few events. Uh, it's, it was hard to get in the ribbon again, and... Uh, yeah, now I feel like I, I'm back, you know, in competition mode, and uh, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yes. You peaked in the final 17.5 two-wave total. This is your 17th championship tour victory. Now you've won one here at Margaret River. Your feelings on Western Australia? Uh, it's amazing. I've been having a good time here. I, I brought two good friends uh, from home, and I have my coach here. Kingy and Alan, and uh, it's been amazing, you know. Um, just be patient. Uh, I knew I was gonna come. Uh, I had some tough loss, uh, which put you down a little bit, but I've been working, uh, I've been enjoying my life, and uh, everything is paying off right now. Let's give you some words for Brazil. Obrigado a todos, deu nós, graças a Deus. Um abraço para todos os amigos, toda a galera brasileira. Muito feliz com a vitória aqui, e só agradecer. Peace! You, your champion, Gabriel Medina. What a moment for the three-time world champ, his first win of this season, as he's now world number seven. Time to celebrate. Yeah, that speech with Kaipo reminded me of a moment at Jay Bay when he said, I'm back on the podium. <laughs> it kind of feels like he knows that he's at 100%. He's in full comp mode. And he's going to try to take down the tour in the back end of the season. Yeah, and uh, it, it was never a question of if, it was always when Medina was going to bounce back and uh, really taking control of the final here. And, and, and he's looking back in peak form, you know, and, and he said it then, you know, there's been stuff going on in the background. He's been down a bit. There's been personal challenges. There's been injuries, things going on. And he's figured a way to get through it like a real champion. And, uh, well, he's... Uh, He's showing the goofy footers. It can be done. <laughs> well done to Gabriel Medina. His celebrations will begin when he hits the sand. And let's prepare for another big final. Carissa Moore taking on Tyler Wright. We'll bring in Felicity Palmatier for the call right after this. Yeah, it's amazing to come uh, come in with a win here. Uh, that was a tough event for me. Uh, as I said, I always, I was struggling to to make hits here. Uh, but this year, I, I I change up a little bit. I've been training a lot, and yeah, to have my friends here from from home is amazing. 
and uh, wins a win. It feels amazing. <laughs> Your last single event win, taking out the world title, was actually Rottnest Island. So I think you kind of love WA. Yeah, I love WA. <laughs> I'm having a good time. As I said, this is the best. Even before I win today, just now, uh, was the best time I was having here. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of so many years. Yeah, you been I've been learning. I've been enjoying every place I go, and um, yeah, and it's it's amazing just to to get a few waves. And as I said, to have my friends from home, it means a lot to me here. <laughs> You're gonna have a big guest list tonight. You're gonna have a party. <laughs> Uh, of course you're gonna go see the wine thing, yeah? Uh, they have a good place to, to have wine, so yeah, I wanna, I wanna do that. And uh, actually, I'm, yeah, I wanna enjoy tonight and I just wanna keep working because I feel like I, I'm the ribbon again. And it feels good, you know, just to be in the, in the routine back again um, feels amazing. And the next contest is a really good one that I, I look to, to make the finals and uh, yeah, but let's enjoy tonight.